So I'll start a new one right from fresh. I'm going to file, new, and the size you want to choose. This will look different on different computers. But international paper will give you access to an A4 size. And then we can just call this um, Smiley. And we're going to OK that. That opens an A4 document. Now at the moment, it's just like a piece of white paper. I want to put a piece of transparency on top of that. So I'm going to come down here to the Layer tool, and click that, and it's called Layer 1. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to write the yellow, fa yellow face. So that's my yellow face. So on that layer, I'm going to draw a face. And rather than get a paintbrush <coughs> and actually draw it, I'm going to use this Marquee tool, which I can hold I the right click down, anyway. choose elliptical, and then I just click and drag out a circle. If I hold down shift, it'll be round. So that's now a selection zone. So it's saying, the program saying, this is called the ant trail. That ant trail is saying, I've selected an area, what do you want to do with it? So now you have to then go in and say, well, I want to fill that. So we're going to use paint bucket. And paint bucket's hidden. By default, it says gradient. But anything with a little triangle there, you just hold the mouse on and you can change it. So now I'm going to pick my color, which will be a yellow, a nice warm yellow. And then I'm going to paint bucket fill that. So that layer's selected. I'm going to paint bucket there. Now that ant trail still exists because it's saying I've done that. I've still selected that area. Do you want me to do anything else with that selection area? And it's like, no, I don't. So <coughs> you need to deselect. So come up, select, and go deselect. And the shortcut is Command D. So that ant trail is no longer lit up. So now I want to do black eyes. So I click a new layer. And then I'll get this tool again. And this time I would draw my little black selection for a black eye, but I want to take this back to black. These two tiles here will bring it back to black and white default. And now I can paint bucket that little spot. And I'm going to deselect. Now I could do something else. Rather than deselect, Copy I could have, I could just take that selection zone, move that eye around, or what I'm going to do is actually get that layer and I'm just going to drag it down to the layer tool and that creates a copy of that layer. So layer one's now been copied and I can move it over to here. So now I've got the same eye twice. I'm going to deselect. So now I've got two eyes, each existing on a different layer. Now let's say I wanted to make that one look like a wink. I could put a new layer on top of that and then I could bring in a shape. I could actually get a shape with this lasso tool, maybe polyagonal, which is, gives me straight lines. And I could do that. Whoops. That's floating, saying, what do you want me to do with that? We're going to fill that up with yellow. So you get your paint dropper and come back to the color you've already picked. And then we can just paint bucket on top of that. So now he looks, deselect, looks like he's got a frowning eye. And I can turn that eye back on. All right. Let's do the last thing, which is a new layer and a mouth. How would you do it? What I've shown the boys is you get your circle tool again. Draw a big circle like this. And fill that with black. And then get your circle tool again, deselect, draw another circle on top, like that. So all that's sitting outside that selection zone is this part. And if you think about it, all these are on different layers, so we're only affecting this top layer. All I'm going to do now is press delete. And I'm left with a smile. So deselect, turn it all back on, smiley face, and a wink. And you can move all of those around with your select tool, getting in the right spot, up and down. And if you want to move the eyes together, you can hold shift, it gets two layers, and then you can move those together. Turn on your wink. Okay? Awesome. Thank you.